So today we're checking out a new product from Insta360. This is the go to a tiny little action cam. I mean, you can tell just looking at the box, this thing, if you already thought action cams were small, this takes things to another level. It's got all kinds of crazy features. One that I'm excited for is this horizon lock thing. When it comes to wearable cameras, I've tried a lot of different things for POV footage, but oftentimes it'll get kinked a little bit and be slightly off and then require editing. Somehow within the software, this thing always figures out what's level so that POV footage is bang on. You can see some examples of how you might use it over here underwater. There's a magnetic mount that goes around your neck and under your shirt. And then you just clip the little camera on the front of it. Here you can see underwater because it also happens to be waterproof. Here you can see a basketball player wearing a headband. There's also an adapter clip so that you can fit the camera on this tiny little section of your hat if you spin it around backwards. Flow state stabilization is what they call their stabilization tech. Hands-free operation, you can mount it anywhere because it does have a magnet. So not just the hat in here, but there's also a little mounting bracket that you can pretty much stick anywhere. It'll shoot up to 1440p at 50 FPS. It is waterproof as mentioned previously. It has the auto editing feature. There's a hyperlapse option so that you can speed up a particular activity will like compress time, make it look way faster. There's also slow motion up to 120 FPS, remote control and a Wi-Fi preview. So it'll connect through an app on your phone so you can see what you're about to record. Although you don't have to be connected to the app to initiate a recording. Oh, there's the camera. I almost missed it. Look at how tiny that little thing is in the top part of the box. This is the little camera. Wow, just a tiny connection point right here, these metallic connectors. It's a very wide angle lens as you'd expect on an action camera. And then the button is down here. You can see I powered it up. There's a vibration and an LED light in this location. I'm gonna peel off this little lens protector. So that's what you are looking at. I will hold this tiny little thing up to this camera right here. Look at that little guy and it's light. And this matters, particularly if you wanna mount it on your hat. I've done all kinds of things with action cameras on the hat before. They get a little bit heavy, it starts to sag. It's maybe not the most comfortable thing in this case. That's really what they're going for, a wearable camera that you won't mind wearing, or maybe you'll even forget you're wearing it, which is even better. This is gonna be the pendant mount. So this is pretty cool. At first I thought, oh, you just can wear this on the outside of your clothing, but that's actually wrong. The magnet is strong enough to work through your clothing. So you tuck this in. Magnet works one way. It's pretty strong, actually. All right, so first up, quick demo how you might utilize this. This is adjustable, by the way. So this could go over your head like this and tuck it into your shirt. Now, at this point, you don't even know that I'm wearing it. It's right here, very unobtrusive. And then I come with, wow, check out how seamless that is. Now, if I was wearing a light color shirt, that would blend even more so, but I'm moving, let's, the magnet holds and it's got some stabilization magic. So you combine the fact that it's secure with what's going on in the software and hopefully we can get some decent results. And then a bunch of accessories, including your type C to type A charge cable. We have this little clip. This is the hat clip, I believe. A hat, everybody has one of these. It clips onto the back portion. And on the inside of the clip, there's like a little soft rubberized piece, which you might be able to pick up right there. And then here's uh, here's where things get good. You just pop this on like this. You just gotta know which way to put it. And it angles down, ratchet down a little bit. If you want to look at like what was on the table, for example, and it is super lightweight, but because of the magnet aspect, it's so quick to change the mount point. So. I could just pull this out, like bang, start shooting, just maybe I wanna handhold it, then come to the chest mount, which was hidden completely anyways, flip this back around, still have my mount attached back there if I wanna access it, or I don't know, maybe you're crazy and wanna shoot behind you. Eh? In a certain circumstance, that might be cool. As you can see, I mean, how easy is that? All right, but we're not done there because they figured out how to do a charge case, convenient portable package for it. Since it is so small, you have this advantage, but believe it or not, that's not the only thing that this does. You pop this open and look at, look at that. So this is a charge case, which also has a screen on it and also acts as a remote trigger. 
So if I hold this up close to you right here, you'll see the record button over there. Click to start. On the bottom, you'll see a tripod mount. If you did wanna mount this up to a tripod, there is your type C connector for charging things up. And check this out, it goes even a step further. On the back side, it's a little tripod. How wild is that? So I can just pop this out right here. Bam, and now I have a tripod for the time-lapse feature because this will also do time-lapse or maybe I just want to set it up for the purpose of uh, recording a conversation or a, a meal or something like that. Well, it's very unobtrusive. Now you probably saw the orange light come on right there on the unit. It's charging up inside the case. So the case has its own battery, which charges. You can think of this like those wireless earbud type of setups. We fold this back down and look at that tiny little travel package pocketable i mean how convenient is that boom all right there's one more thing in the package which is this mount and i'm told that you can kind of stick this to almost anything any type of flat surface and then it has this little ball head over here allowing you to get whichever angle you happen to be looking for now it's the same story as far as the camera is concerned if i pop it out of here the camera is going to pop in like that. Interestingly, you still have access on the back side. And then we can go ahead and so we slide that out. What does it say here? Clean the pivot stand with water and dry before reusing. Hold the pivot stand for underwater use. Ah, that's what the wrist strap is about. Man, they really thought about a lot of things with this. So the assumption here is you go through the wrist strap like this, and now you have a handle, as you can see. So you might be a little bit nervous about holding the camera independently. It is so tiny. If you were doing a lot of handheld filming, this could be convenient for you. You can get your shot like this a little bit more to grip onto you and then stick it to things as you go as well if you carry this with you. I think also you can kind of fold the whole thing down into a, a portable package like this and the wrist strap hopefully gives you a little extra security. That's the idea that they're going for. So this is iOS, but the app is available for iOS and Android. All right, so as you can tell, we are up and live and the app acts as your preview for what you're looking at. As you can see, I turn this back towards myself, reach out here. Now you can see it is a wide field of view, but there are options here. If I click on FOV, we have wide, we have action view, we have linear, if you're looking for something that appears to be a little bit flatter. And we also have narrow, if you want a crop in image. I'm going to go to wide for now. Also, there's a pro video setting over here, an HDR setting and a standard setting. Then we're gonna get the horizon lock and the stabilization and the resolution option here as well, 1440p, but you could shoot in 1080p if you wanted a slightly smaller file size aspect ratio also available to you. As you can see, we can shoot nine by 16, and this might be something somebody will want for social media sharing, obviously to stories and such, where you have the portrait or vertical video mode. Files will be transferred back and forth to your mobile device so that you can post them quickly, but they are stored internally. And if I click on settings here, I have, I guess I can lock the white balance or keep it in auto. All right, so I'm gonna start rolling a clip and one nice thing that happens, the unit vibrates when I click that button to indicate that you have started recording. You can see the data consumption up here as well. Now I'm gonna show you how the horizon lock works. If I go ahead and spin this camera all the way around, look at this, okay, watch. Bang, bang, bang. That is wild stuff right there. It's smart enough to know what is level and lock it even as the camera is being moved or rotated around completely. Okay, so now my video is over here. I can do, I can actually edit it right within here. So there's face filters and music. I can adjust speed and take a screenshot. So I can go straight from here and into social media. As you can see, it's downloading. All right, so that's cool for a test, but I know we can get some better footage than what I could capture right here. So let's hit the road and see what we can do. Okay, so I'm recording on a camera right now, as you can see on the app, and I have it on the hat mount, which is very lightweight. It also can be angled up and down. I have it angled 
just ever so slightly down at the moment. And we're about to go for a little walk outdoors. Now what you should be noticing at this point is the horizon feature that's able to keep it locked even if my head is not exactly straight. And this is the thing that happens with point of view cameras. Since you can't really monitor what they're looking at, sometimes if they shift a little bit or if your neck happens to be in one direction or the other, You'll just come out with this footage where the horizon line is screwed up and it creates a weird experience for the viewer. Or you have to go into post and try to edit it and fix it and crop in to straighten it out. So that's a really cool feature that this is sort of locking the horizon, which is something that you would want. And that's inside the pro mode. So you can see this is me turning my head to the left. Go ahead and turn my head to the right. Now this is 1440p resolution as well. And the field of view is set to wide also. Now I'm in a forest right now, by the way. We have the white snow down on the ground. Many trees to look at. There you go. Some tree detail. See how close we can get to it. This thing is so tiny and it's using all those magnets. I can just, it's in my hand now. Like I can flip it around. <laughs> I can flip it around. It's so tiny and easy to maneuver. And since there's no specialty mounting contraption, you just clip it in with the magnet and like, look, now I'm hands free. So it's super convenient from that standpoint. <clears throat> So this car has a number of different drive modes and ranging from fast to really, really fast. It's in normal right now. And when you switch between the drive modes from like normal to sport or to sport plus, different aspects of the car will alter all at once. So the acceleration, the sound that the car is making, the suspension, the ride height. Actually, if I click over here and you check out the drive mode, you can see sport, then changes the chassis to sport. That's the suspension, the height of the chassis, which moves around is dynamic, the amount of accelerator recoup recuperation, whether you have the electronic sport sound. I'm going to go ahead and I'll just put it into sport plus whoa baby that is roller coaster status oh man. oh man it's the craziest wearable camera because you you really forget that you're wearing it and i think that's really what they were going for they just tried to make the smallest most versatile camera they could and I mean, it seems like they achieved it. <laughs> 